State Police now tell us this woman was under the influence when she crashed her car, killing her six-year-old daughter. They arrested Jessica Skeens today after getting the toxicology report. Police tell us tonight the crash took place on Sunday in Delaware County when Skeens and her boyfriend got into a fight behind the wheel. Our David McAnally tonight spoke to the girl's grandmother about what happened next. David? Andrea, now comes the pain for the child's grandmother. Following years of frustration, she says, trying to win custody of those grandchildren that she felt were in danger. A small memorial marks the spot where a small girl lost her life Sunday, just off the Muncie Bypass near the Meeker exit. Investigators say she did not have a seatbelt as her mother's van passed this point and left the road, went up a hill, then rolled, throwing the girl out. The girl's mother, 28-year-old Jessica Skeens, charged with drunk driving causing the death of her six-year-old Taylin Ann Marie Woodson, also neglect and other felony counts. Skeens' boyfriend is also charged. Police say 27-year-old Nathaniel Jordan had repeatedly punched Skeens in the face while she drove the van, then grabbed the steering wheel. The van then flew out of control. If there was anything positive at this very sad scene, it is that there were three other children in that van. All of them got out with minor injuries. She says, are you happy we didn't die? And I said, yes, baby, I'm so happy. God saved you. I'm so happy. By phone, the victim's grandmother says the surviving children asked her that question this weekend. Taylor was like my own daughter. She, she was more of a daughter than a granddaughter to me. And um, I couldn't protect her. I couldn't save her. But I can protect the other three, and they will be safe. She says she battled for years to get custody of Taylor and her siblings. After years of living in danger, she says, They will be protected completely and totally. She says she's never asked for help, but Kathy Ferris says that now she needs the world's help raising money to bury her grandchild. There is a GoFundMe page the family set up. You can find that link to it in this story at WTHR.com. John. All right. Thank